What's up on my fine, fine girls? No pimple is with here again with another video. So today we are back with yet again another this or that video. But before we even get into that, some of you guys have been commenting. A lot of y'all don't know what it when I when I say fine girl, no pimples. So I'm Nigerian. It's just a saying. It's like a compliment. Like, girl, you so fine. Like, fine girl, no pimple. It's, 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 it's just a saying. It's a compliment. Okay. But anyways, um, yeah, you guys really liked my last this or that video. So I decided to do another one. I have some palettes laid out here that, you know, we're going to be, you know, judging. Well, it's not really judging, but pretty much this or that is like, I have two palettes. Something makes them similar, like either they're the same brand, same color story. Um, I don't know, something makes them similar. And so if I had to choose out of the two, which would it be? And if I had to recommend, like, let's say you wanted to, you know, pick one of these up, but you're like, which one should I go with? That's kind of what it is. It's like, like that, like out of the two palettes, which would I recommend or which would I choose? Um, there's something else I was going to say. There's something else that I was going to say. Oh, I got a new chair. Y'all heard, y'all remember all that squeaking in my video? That was my chair. So I got a new chair. So the squeaking should be gone now. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And I'm saying fine, you no pimple as I have to listen. Listen, sometimes your skin really be hating on you, but you know what? This should be gone by the end of the week. So let us go ahead and get started. So what do I wanna do first? Let's start with something easy. I really don't know if both of these palettes are available. Now some of these will be for fun, so some of them, they wouldn't be available anymore, which I feel like it might just be this one that I'm about to show. So I think actually this time around, all the palettes that I have here are actually available. I'm not sure if these two are, but Anyways, so the first palette I have, or the first two I have are by Juvia's Place, and it is going to be the Warrior palette and the Warrior 2. Obviously, the names, you know, Warrior, Warrior 2. Now, there is three of them, but, like, the third one just has, it's just completely off. So let me show you guys what this one looks like. This is the Warrior palette. It's an all-neutral palette um, with shimmers. You get five shimmers in here, and you get three mattes. And then the Warrior 2, this one right here is yet again another neutral palette, but it's an all-matte palette. So... Um, out of the two, if I had to recommend, I'm gonna have to go with the Warrior 2 palette. And the reason being is because it's an all matte palette. I feel like I'll get more use out of it. I feel like anybody will get more use out of this. For me personally, I mean, I love a nice shimmer, don't get me wrong, but I would prefer to either have an even amount of mattes to shimmers or I would prefer more mattes than shimmers. Now, granted, you can use shimmers to put in your crease, your outer V. You can definitely do that, but for me, that's not really my style of makeup. And I feel like most people kind of like to keep shimmers on the lid um so definitely out of the two and then also in the warrior palette this shade is like you guys know i love me a dark shade if you don't know i love a dark rich shade this is not as dark like it's actually very very light it was not light light but it's like not deep deep either while in the warrior palette i mean y'all this black i actually used this palette the other day Oh, it was so pretty. Um, I, I, I actually really, really like this palette. So definitely recommend. So I have these two palettes right here. Now this one, these are dupes for an actual palette. I don't own the actual real thing. I just have the dupes of them. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. It's going to be the Glitz Wiz palette by She Glam. And this is what the inside of this palette looks like. This is a, du a dupe for the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. And then I have the Alter Ego, their Artemis palette, which yet again is also a dupe for the, um, the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. So if you, sorry, if I look over here, my monitors, you have to make sure I'm in focus because sometimes my camera likes to focus on these perfumes in the background. But anyways, if you like the um, Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, which I don't even think that's available anymore. I don't think that's available anymore, but if it is and you like it and you don't want to pay that price point, well, then these are great options. This one's like $11 and some change. I want to say this one's like $20-something. Um, so, so, if I had to recommend, okay, I'm personally going to go with the Alter Ego palette. Um, one, it feels a little more... It feels like it's a little bit of a better quality. One, the palette is actually quite heavy and I believe these pans are magnetic. I think that's why. Yeah, but honestly, both of them are really nice to be quite honest. I think the formulas are good on both of them, but I don't know, I kind of just, I'm leaning more to this one. I just feel like the presentation is a little bit prettier too. I hate the way my palette looks, but granted, I think it's more so, I don't like the formula of Natasha Denona and both these palettes did, did pretty decent in trying to dupe her formula as far as when it comes to her cream matte finishes. Um, or is it cream to powder? Whatever it is. She has like a cream matte finish. I'm like, I don't really like it. So 
this palette just kind of looks really ugly as far as like that formula but yeah out of the two i would go with the artemis palette i just i think this one is just it's really really nice but both of them would be fine either way but if i had to choose which one to keep i'm gonna go with the artemis okay so the next two palettes that i have up one of them is making a comeback from the last video so first off i have the melt cosmetics or 420 palette and this is what the inside of the palette looks like if i can open it <laughs> It is pretty much like your green, grungy, rancid looking palette. That's this. And then we have the Ace Beauté, their Tropical Vibes palette, which they're very similar color stories. Same thing, green, grungy types of colors. So out of these two palettes, if I had to recommend which one would I go with, I'm going to have to go with the Tropical Vibes palette. I think the formula is way, 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 way better on the, in this palette than the Melt. And don't get me wrong, Melt actually has a really good formula, but the thing with Melt is that it's not consistent. You might get a palette that's really, really good, and then you get another palette that's just like, what the heck? Like, let, let me, let's talk about this 420 palette. First and foremost, I feel like all these shades just kind of muddied into each other when I did a look with it. Also, this shimmer, this shimmer, the one and only shimmer in this palette is horrendous. It is horrible. Like, I don't know who on the Melt team approved this, who thought like this was an actual good formula. It does not pick up on a brush. You can barely swatch it. You literally have to take like a spoolie and scrape it and almost use like a loose pigment i think this was just horrible but the color story is gorgeous so i feel like the tropical vibes is a great way for you to kind of get like that feel and also i believe ace beauté recently reformulated their palettes i never tried their ore formula but so far with this one i've used this a couple times and i think it's amazing it's phenomenal so definitely would recommend the tropical vibes palette over the two if you wanted a color story like that go with the ace beauté all right so next up these two palettes are no longer available um and these are by beauty bay this is their love notes palette and their new romantic palette so i mean if you are if you're uh a faithful watcher of the channel you already kind of know the answer to this but let me go ahead and show you guys both of these palettes so this is what the love notes looks like it is pretty much both of these palettes are like their valentine's valentine's day palette this one was for 2022 and the other one was for 2021 so this one this this is what this one looks like you know very on brand you know with the burgundies the purples the pinks the mobs rose all that jazz right and then we have the new romantic now this one is cute Ooh. now this is pretty this is a beautiful palette just gorgeous warm Ooh. Okay, so out of the two, since, you know, this one, nobody can buy it anymore because they're no longer available. But if I only could keep one of these palettes, I'm definitely going to go with the New Romantic any day, any time, any place. I feel like this is the better version. I feel like this is a better color story. Love Notes. Love Notes was not made for me, okay? I'm somebody that likes really deep, rich, colored palettes and you know this is for somebody but for me that's not my vibe i definitely like the new romantic better so out of the two i would definitely go with the new romantic this pimple is really pissing me off let us continue okay so let's jump into something fun okay we're gonna get into some color all right so the next palettes i have up here are both rainbow palettes now these are what makes them similar is the time period that they came out they both came out around the same time as each other and so let me let me go to show you the palettes and then i'll talk more about it okay so i have the sample beauty the bet painters palette or sorry the sample beauty the painters palette by beth painter so this is a collab palette and it's a full-on rainbow palette when i say this is truly like this is a great definition of a rainbow palette you get every single color and you also get like these neutrals here you get the gray the black the white like literally this literally feels like um you know like when you go and buy like a pack of crayons you get every single color like that's literally what that feels like and then this one also is a collab palette and this is by be perfect this is a carnival three the love tahiti palette and this yet again is another full-on rainbow palette as you guys can see i have made a dent in that pink I, I i love this palette i think this is absolutely gorgeous um so both these palettes came out around the same time they're both collab palettes and honestly i kind of feel bad because I mean, everyone kind of knows, you know, Stacey Marie, like this was her third palette when this one came out with well, her third collab palette would be perfect. And I just kind of feel like this palette flew underneath the radar because of just like how popular this one was. You know, most people, if they just buy one rainbow palette, they don't want to go buy another one. So I just kind of feel like a lot of people just kind of lean more this way. So if I had to recommend out of the two or if I could only keep one, if I feel like whatever it may be out of these two palettes, which one would I, which one would I keep? It's going to be the Carnival 3. This was literally my number one palette of 2020. I love this palette. Don't get me wrong. This is a good palette. This is really is a nice palette, but I love this one more. And I feel like this one's more fun in my opinion, just because I don't know why. Like, granted, you get all the colors in that other palette, but this is just so fun to me. Like, I love this palette. Like, I love this, the greens over here. I love that really forestry, forestry green. 
the pinks and the purples, I'm, I'm just like in heaven when I look at this palette. Like I get so, I feel so creative when I look at this palette. Definitely would recommend this out of the two, but I feel like both of them are really nice. But if you were looking for like a nice rainbow palette, okay, you're new to makeup and you're just stumbling upon this video, I would go with this one. I think this one is bomb, okay? So yes. <laughs> Okay, so I have another set of colorful palettes here to recommend, and these are both by Glam Light, and this is the Glam Light, their paint palette, I believe. Yeah, this is their paint palette. Let me actually open it, because it has like a frosted covering. So this is what the paint palette looks like. It's literally in the shape of a, what is this thing called? Like a palette, yeah, that's what it's called. It's in the shape of a palette. And you literally get every single color up here of the rainbow. Now, you do get like this white shade, but it's like a shimmer shade that, you know, it reminds me of NARS Albatross Highlighter. So it's like one of those whites, well, it looks white, but when you put it on, like it has like a, like a gold undertone like or a gold overlay. So super pretty. I like that you get the shimmers here, you get the mattes there. Really nice palette if you're just looking for a nice, nice rainbow. And then I have here, let me take it out of its packaging. I have the Glam Light Their Cake Palette. So the, yet again, this is another colorful palette by them. And this is what the inside looks like. Super pretty. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a colorful palette. So out of the two, if I can only keep one, this one's a little tough because one thing about Glam Light, I feel like they really, really go all out for their packaging. But at the same time, it's like fun when you get it, you open it, like, oh, cute. But then when it comes to storing, it's just like, oh, I hate this. So the paint palette, I just, I hate storing it, but I love the concept of it. And then the cake palette, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to store. But, hmm, 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 hmm. I think I'm going to go with, I'm gonna go with the paint palette. I'm going to go with the paint palette. I really, really enjoy using this palette when I do get around to it. Um, it's really nice. I, I really like this, and I feel like I kind of get everything in here that I would want out of like a rainbow palette. I feel like the well, let me not judge this off a rainbow palette because I'm I'm doing I'm doing this based off of a colorful palette because it's not really fair to the to the um, cake palette because you know maybe it could be. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but either way it goes. I would go with this one. I like this one more. Um, I know they have a smaller version, but that's with different colors. Now, I don't know what I was gonna say. I don't know why I said now like I had something else to say. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I'll go with this one. This one's really pretty. <laughs> okay, so we're about to get a little bougie with the price range, okay? So the next two sets of palettes are both really high price palettes from two different brands. So the first two palettes that I have here, um, that are quite pricey are the Lena Lashes, her Nigeria, which one's Nigeria and one in Nigeria too. I don't know which one's the one. They don't have it on the, the, the actually do they? I wanna say this is Nigeria one, this is Nigeria two. I don't know, but yeah, these are their Nigeria palettes. So let me show you the inside of them. So this is what the um, Nigeria No They Carry Last palette looks like. Um, really pretty, you get some multi-chromes in here. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a really pretty color story. And then this is the Nigeria, the Peach Martini palette. Let me show you guys the inside of this one. This one is like a like the name Peach. Like it's a really nice warm peach tone palette. Super cute, really pretty. I like it. You know, she cute, she cute, she cute, or whatever. So I did do a review on these palettes. I feel like they were nice to be honest. Um, so these both both retail for $109. I mean, they were okay. I feel like the quality was it was okay. Like, I mean, yeah, I think it was okay. Out of the two color stories, which one do I like better? I'm going based off color story, okay? Color story for these two, I like better this one, okay? And I feel like out of the two, because I like this one better, I would recommend this one. But I feel like this is one of those where you kind of have to really go based off of your own preference. If you like more light tone, peachy colors, you might like the other one better, but uh, my freaking camera cut off me. I have got to buy another SD card. I just have not gotten around to it. Okay, I don't know what I was saying, but um, I think that's what, no, okay, what? Oh, yeah so if you like more deeper darker shades i think you would like this one more and if you like lighter shades you might like that one better but out of the two i would pick this one to keep out of both if i can only like have one of these i would definitely go with this one i think this one's more up my alley i really just the only thing i don't like is this purple i wish it would have been just a little bit darker a little bit deeper but i mean overall it's not a bad palette i would say they're, they're not bad palettes but i just feel like i wasn't truly wowed in my video so next up, I have another set of palettes that, you know, are a little bit more on the bougier side, okay? So we have the Pat McGrath, the Mothership 7. This is the Divine Rose palette. And we have the Pat McGrath, Mothership 8, Divine Rose 2. Now listen, Pat McGrath, when I say 
Rose has had a Auntie Pat in a chokehold that I'm praying that when Mothership 10 comes, she has been unbound, unleashed from the shackles of Rose because she has Rose us to death. I don't want another Rose themed anything from Pat McGrath, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to open these up. Um, yeah, I just, I, I just Auntie, we, we are tired, okay? I want to see something else from you. I want you to go dark, like when you put out Mothership 5, okay? Can we, can we get that? Can we get Mothership 3, darkness? Can we, can, can we? I think we've, 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 we've gone through it, okay? We've, we've gotten the rose, we get it, we love, you know, we, we know you love it, okay? And then last year, Utopian Dream, kind of the same thing, this is kind of light. <sighs> I pray to God that Lord, you please release Auntie Pat from the shackles of rose themed palettes. We the people have had enough, amen. Okay, so let's get back to this. <laughs> so this is what the inside of the um, Mothership 7 looks like. So really light, really pretty. I will say this is a part, like if you are going to spend $125 on a palette and you want to be able to use every single shade every single day, you want something that you can you can get use out of all the time, I think Mothership 7 is a great way to go within the um, large Mothership palette. And then we have the Mothership 8, Divine Rose 2. And this is what this one looks like. And this is where I feel like, I feel like, was this the first time that we kind of got like a multi-chrome from Pat McGrath? Because I'm trying to think about her other ones. I know she has her special shades in, I'm trying to think about Mothership 5. I don't know if there was this, like a multi-chrome in there. I don't know, but I think this is like the first time like we really get a shade that like shifts. Like y'all see that? Like it really shifts like crazy. Same thing. I feel like this is a palette you can really get good use out of, out of every day. It's more like mauve rose leaning while that, the other one is more like neutrally rose leaning. So out of these two I don't know if I want to okay if I can only keep one of these two okay if I had to recommend one of these two to you guys I'm gonna have to go with the mothership eight I like it better I just think it's a better color story um I just like that you can you can get a little more fun with this palette yes mothership seven is great for like an everyday palette but I just feel like that's a little boring, don't you think? I feel like you can get every day out of this and you can get fun with like this, you know, like, I don't know. I just, I feel like this is the better of the two. I like this one better. So this, this one right here, okay, I'm gonna do this. Out of the two, which, if I can only keep one, I'm gonna go with Mothership 8, okay? As far as I recommend it to you guys, if you were, you know, you're new, you don't know which one you wanna get, that really is gonna come down to your personal preference, okay? Your personal makeup style. But I would definitely recommend the Mothership 8, okay? Final answer, that's it. Okay, so the next set of palettes that I have here, this is going to be the Norvina Volume 1 and the Norvina Volume 5. And the reason why I'm comparing both of these is because if there's one thing about Norvina, she loves the color purple. And both of these are very purple heavy. So let me show you the inside of them for a refresher if you don't know what they look like or if you forgot. So this is the Norvina Volume 1. Very purple heavy, you get the pinks, you kind of get like, you know, the white, the black, you get some, like you get this like one neutral shade, I guess right here, get this color. I mean, I mean, you, you get the gist of it, okay? It's pretty much purple with some other stuff. And then we have Norvina Volume 5. This came out last year. And let me show you the inside of this one. Now this one is very, very, very purple heavy as well too. But you also kind of get some neutral colors. Like you get these here. Um, this palette does have one pressed glitter in here. And yeah, you get some neutral shades here. So out of the two, listen, and if you're new to my channel, one thing you want to learn, learn about me is I love the color purple when it comes to eyeshadow. Like purple is literally one of my favorite colors to put on myself. I feel like I look really good in it. And so both of these are like a dream come true. Like I enjoy both these palettes. I love both of them, but I have to, you know, I have to slide my hair down. If I can only keep one, if I can only keep one of these palettes, I'm gonna have to go with the Norvina Volume 1. Listen, this is the OG, this is where it all started. This is like, this is what drew me in to where I wanna collect all the Norvina palettes. I love this palette, okay, I love it. This is just, this is beautiful. I love the purples in here and I like the fact that, you know, I kinda get like my pinks and I get some other stuff in here that I find are really, really fun. As with the Norvina Volume 5, you're gonna get the same amount of purples I feel like you get in here, it's just, 
it's just a lot more purple shades in there and you're really kind of just doing purple i feel like you can get a little more creative with still having a good amount of purple if you like purple eyeshadows i think like i'm just saying purple and purple and purple over and over and over but i feel like i'm making sense in my head but it's just not coming out right but if you get me you get me you know and if you don't then i guess you just don't but <laughs> out of the two definitely the norvina volume one i love this palette but don't get me wrong don't get me wrong both of them are really really nice palettes okay all right so we have one last pair of palettes here and it is going to be by juvia's place both of these are available they're just only available in the mini size of the palettes um i have the larger version because when they first came out they offered them in the large and then like later down they they made them a mini and they don't want to sell them in the big ones apparently so i have the masquerade palette here by juvia's place and i have the magic let me show you guys the inside of these palettes so this is this one really colorful and neutral e ish down here and the magic palette is yet again a really colorful palette but it can get deep okay and so this is what this one looks like colorful you kind of get some neutrals up here the reason why these two are being paired right next to each other is because of the fact i'm just going based off the size okay i feel like that's what makes them similar they're both big so out of these two if you know me then you already know the answer to this but if i can only keep one of these okay if i had to recommend one of these to you guys and you want color okay you want color and to have a little bit of neutral go with the magic palette like this is this is a no-brainer okay you can get really fun with the colors you kind of get some pinks in there i love this pink here you get these really nice deep shades down here i love these deep shades okay you get some fun little neutrals up here you get these two shades right here i mean it's fun i feel like you can get really fun and creative with this i mean both of them are really nice don't get me wrong but i feel like out of the two the magic is definitely the the, the better route to go okay so yeah that is out of this video that's all i have here that's all i have for today's video um if you guys do want to see more videos like this please okay because y'all didn't do it last time y'all all kept saying i want to see more videos like this but please comment down below palettes that you want to see me compare because right now i can't think of any more so let me know down below palettes that you would like for me to compare it next to each other um if i have them i definitely will do it if i don't oh then i can't do it because i own it but yes comment down below what you want to see if you want me to do another video like this comment down the um the i don't know the palettes that you want to see compared to each other child i'm tired of talking okay anyway that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time i will talk to you beauty came and i can't even do my outro right let's let's run that back okay so yeah you guys that's the end of this video and until next time i'll talk to you beauties later bye